and welcome back to Bunches of Lunches. Today is the one year anniversary of this series, so that's a lot of lunches. We've been having so much fun and we can't wait to keep going. This series has definitely changed over time, but the goal remains the same. I love to share lots of fun lunch ideas that are cute, but also easy to make. And without further ado, let's get started. Hi guys, and welcome to Monday. Now, even though it's about 90 degrees outside today, my calendar is telling me that it's officially fall. So this week, I'm gonna be making all fall-themed lunches. So today, I'm actually gonna give the kids some oatmeal. Oatmeal is perfect for packing in the thermos. It is so easy. So I have my oatmeal in there. To go along with that, I'm also gonna give the kids some of this apple cinnamon yogurt but this is actually a coconut milk yogurt. So if you have some kids that are allergic to dairy, you should definitely try this. I find this at Trader Joe's. Now I know it's really fun to add sprinkles on top of yogurt, but instead I'm gonna go ahead and add just a sprinkle of cinnamon on top. For some extra protein, I'm gonna throw in something I know the kids will love. This is a hickory peach barbecue sausage, but it's kind of like a beef jerky stick. I am gonna go ahead and cut these in half just so that they'll fit in my lunchbox a little bit easier. For the vegetable, I'm adding some sugar snap peas. I also added a little bit of ranch to these really cute containers. I'm also including a new item for the kids to try. These are the apple cinnamon yogurt crisps. I found these at my local grocery store. For our fruit today, I'm keeping it super easy. I'm just gonna throw in one of these applesauce pouches. But then, for a very special treat, I have another new item the kids have never tried. I found these at Trader Joe's. They come in a tiny, cute little can, and it's basically sparkling apple juice. So think of Martinelli's, it's kinda like that. Now let me know in the comments down below if your school or if your kid's school allows them to bring cans because I know when I was in elementary school, we were not allowed to bring anything in a can. So there's the lunch for today. Let's see how they do. Lunch is over now and here's what we ate. Okay guys, what did you think about our apple themed lunch today? It was cool. Yeah. Uh -huh. What part was your favorite? My favorite part was the oatmeal. What did you guys think of the sparkling apple cider? I really liked it. I did not really like it. It was too fizzy for me. What about you? I really liked it. We'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye. Hey guys, and happy Tuesday. Right now I'm just preparing some fruit for today's lunch, which is gonna be kind of a breakfast for lunch theme. My kids love that. But I wanted to show you how to cut cantaloupe in a really fun way. To get these nice big slices, you actually cut the cantaloupe kind of the opposite way you normally would. So you can see I've cut down the sides instead of just straight across, and I've left the seeds in there. So that gives me a lot of space to use any cookie cutter I want. And don't worry you guys, the scraps do not go to waste. I just throw them in a container and we snack on those later. Next up, we have another breakfast favorite, and that is cereal. But of course, we have a special fall-themed cereal. These are the Toasted Pumpkin Loops. That's really hard for me to say for some reason. I get these at Sprouts. Now, if you don't have a Sprouts, I think Cheerios has a pumpkin version, and Trader Joe's has a version as well. And of course, I'm gonna throw in a little bottle of milk to go with their cereal, but just a half a bottle. If I give them a whole bottle, they don't usually drink the whole thing. Next up, I'm going to add one hard boiled egg to each lunch. And of course, to make it super cute, I'm gonna add my eye picks. These are so fun. I find these on Amazon. So I'm gonna get my little eggs down in there. Next, I have a special treat. These are the Petite Pumpkin Spice Cookies from Trader Joe's. And as you can tell, Griffin really wanted one because he tore the box open. They are that good. These have a really yummy yogurt coating with sprinkles on top and a little bit of pumpkin spice flavor. Next, I'm going to make some carrot ribbons. This is a really easy way to make your vegetables look extra special. You just take a vegetable peeler and make a long strip of carrot. Then you just fold it up like this every other way, sort of like you would fold a ribbon, and then you stick it on a pick. You can also do this with cucumbers. Those work really well for making ribbons. And there you have it. It was totally easy and definitely something different for the lunchbox. I'm gonna go ahead and add my cantaloupe and my carrot ribbons to a separate container. And of course, I'm not gonna forget the ranch. My kids love ranch. And I do have a really good recipe if you're looking for one, I will link it down below. 
Now these lunch boxes are looking a little bit bare to me, so I'm gonna go ahead and add some of these Harvest Snap Snacks. These are in the tomato basil flavored, so they're not pumpkin themed, but they do say harvest on them, so I think they fit with my fall theme. These are actually made of red lentils. They're very tasty. Let me know in the comments down below if you've ever tried these. I really like the um, wasabi ranch flavor, but it's a little bit spicy for the kids. Now I'm definitely gonna make sure to pack a spoon today and an ice pack so that the milk can stay cold. Let me know in the comments down below if you think the kids will like it or if you think they won't. The lunch is over now and we almost ate everything. Yeah, they actually did a really good job today. Did you guys like the cereal? Yeah. Well, you must have because it's all gone. What about the eggs, you guys? The yolk was too dry for some reason. Yeah, those were a little bit overcooked. That happens sometimes in the Instant Pot. What did you think of the carrot ribbons? I liked it. Those are cool. It. Those are really cool. When I was making them, they turned my hands orange because I was touching the carrots so much. Um, I liked the cereal. My favorite part was the cookie. And we'll see you tomorrow. Hi guys, and welcome to Wednesday. Today I'm going with sort of a leaf-themed lunch, starting with some leaf-shaped sandwiches. For this, I'm adding salami and some cheddar cheese. And to make it extra fun, I'm using my food writer pen to make these look a little bit more like a leaf. Maybe not so much, <laughs> kind of. So I'm gonna go ahead and stick those in my box. For our vegetable today, I'm gonna throw in some sugar snap peas. They're not gonna be super excited about those, but I know they're gonna be excited about the special treat today because they are pumpkin spice covered pretzels. These are so good. This is just like a yogurt pretzel, but they add a little bit of pumpkin spice in there. I'm just gonna add a few to the lunchbox. Now to make sure these sandwiches don't fall apart, I'm gonna add a little pick. These ones have little birds on them. They are so cute. For our fruit today, I'm gonna throw in another applesauce pouch. Hashtag not sponsored, but I do love these because they're convenient. Now in a separate container, I'm going to add some of these mini rice crackers. I find these at Trader Joe's, and they are gluten-free by the way, if you're looking for a gluten-free snack. So I'm just gonna add a handful in the container. And next to that, I'm gonna give the kids some of this hummus. This is a tomato basil hummus, so it makes it nice and orange. Perfect for today's lunch. And the kids really like this flavor because it kinda tastes like pizza. And then for today's lunch, the kids are just gonna have water. I don't always send them with a special drink. I'm not sure about today's lunch. It could go either way. Lunch is over now, and here's how we did. Overall, they did really good today. I see that everyone liked their pretzels. Not everyone liked their vegetable, though. So it looks like your favorite part was probably the sandwich. Yeah. But what about the pretzels? Yeah, the pretzels are good too. But it looks like Lily didn't like the hummus, did ya? Nah. Not your favorite? Yeah. But what part did you like? I like the sandwich. And we'll see you tomorrow. Hey guys, and happy Thursday. Now for today's lunch, I've already started by adding my cute fall themed napkin. I really love adding cute napkins and it's always handy in case the kids spill. So for today's lunch, I'm making a fall themed Lunchable. So I'm starting with some really special crackers. So these are the pumpkin harvest crackers. They are gluten free and they're not sweet. They're more of a savory pumpkin flavor. So I'm not sure if the kids will like them, we'll see. Of course, it wouldn't be a Lunchable without cheese. So I'm just giving the kids some slices of cheddar in the shape of a pumpkin just for fun. And then I'm also including some turkey pepperoni. My kids really prefer the pepperoni when I'm making homemade Lunchables. I like them because they're not too greasy and they're not too spicy. Now in this back section, I'm going to add some special applesauce. This is the pumpkin spice flavored applesauce. I found this at Sprouts and I have to say this smells so good. It smells just like an apple pie. So I'm gonna go ahead and put just a little bit in there this applesauce is not very sweet, so they might like it, they might not. The kids are trying a lot of new foods this week. And sometimes that works, sometimes it doesn't. Now today I have a really special almond butter for the kids to try. This is the pumpkin spice flavored one. I found these at Sprouts. And I went ahead and put this on celery. I tried some and it's really good, so I think they'll like it. 
And lastly, I'm going to add one special treat today. These are the Pumpkin Jojos from Trader Joe's. They are so good. We look forward to getting these every year around this time. This is basically like an Oreo, but I think that they're a lot better. Lunch is over now. So what did you think of today's lunch, guys? It was cool. Uh -huh. Yeah. How come you guys didn't eat the crackers? They were too, like, there was a lot of seasoning on them. That it tasted, like, weird. Yeah, I definitely think I would put some Ritz crackers next time. What do you guys think of the applesauce? I liked it. I liked it. I liked it. Did you guys just get too full? Is that why you didn't eat it all? Yeah. 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 But you know what my favorite part was? Because I because I tried it. The almond butter. The pumpkin spice almond butter was so good. And we'll see you on Friday. Hey guys, and happy Friday. Today I have another fun fall themed lunch. Now today I was planning on making this pasta. I found this at Trader Joe's and it's so cute because the noodles look like pumpkins. And I also had a special harvest sauce to go with it. This is real life and I'm running out of time. So I'm gonna scrap that idea and throw in something easier. So for today's lunch, I'm gonna throw in some carrots. I know the kids don't love these, but I'm gonna throw them in anyway and hope for the best. And since I'm going with plan B for today's lunch, I'm gonna go ahead and take out this muffin liner and instead I'm gonna throw in some yogurt. This is the pumpkin Greek yogurt from Trader Joe's and I usually split two containers amongst the three kids. It's like the perfect amount. For our fruit today, I have something really easy and cute for the kids. I'm gonna go ahead and peel these clementines and then I'm gonna take a little piece of celery and stick it right in the top. And then it's gonna look like a pumpkin. This is like the easiest, cutest thing that you could make for a fall lunch. This will also work for Halloween lunches as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and stick this right in there. Next, I'm throwing in some tortilla chips. And I put these in a separate container so that they don't get crushed or soggy. Now these are the pumpkin seed tortilla chips and they don't taste sweet or like pumpkin spice at all. They're like regular tortilla chips, but they have pumpkin seeds in them. Now to go along with the tortilla chips, I thought this fall harvest salsa would be really yummy, but all the kids said that they would not want to try it. So instead, I'm gonna throw in some guacamole. I put this in their lunch, I don't know, a week or two ago and they loved it. And I do have a separate lid for this container so that the guacamole won't turn brown. Next, I'm gonna throw in some of this Baby Bell cheese, but I'm gonna make it really cute by using my little F cookie cutter. F for fall, of course. This is really very easy to do. And if I had a very tiny leaf-shaped cookie cutter, I definitely would have used that, but I don't have one of those. And then for a special treat today, I'm gonna throw in some of these mini pumpkin muffins. And I'd like to say that I made these from scratch, but I didn't. I bought these pre-made from the store. The kids will not care. They will be so excited to see them. I like to make things cute, but I definitely take help from the store where I can. I picked this up from Trader Joe's because I thought it looked interesting. This is a pumpkin spice almond milk. This is definitely new for the kids. I'm gonna go ahead and give them just a little bit, just in case I don't like it. Now before I pack up this lunch, I'm gonna stop and snap a picture so I can post it to the Facebook group. We have our own Bunches of Lunches Facebook group, you guys. We have over 2,000 members and every day we share our lunch creations. This is a really great community of moms and teens who love to make lunches just as much as I do. So if you love to make lunches, definitely join this group. Lunch is over now and we did pretty good. So Mackenzie ate just about everything. Jackson still has his cutie left, but you can eat that later. It's not, it hasn't gone bad yet. And Lily, you did so good. What was your favorite part? Um, the yogurt. The yogurt. There's still a little bit left in there. I did end up giving the kids some ranch to dip their carrots in. What did you guys think of the muffins? They were great. Uh -huh. Yeah. And then it looks like they didn't really like the pumpkin spice drink. Was it too weird? Yeah. I think it kind of tastes like chai, like chai tea. <laughs> so if you like that, you might like this drink, but it was really sweet, so I don't know. See you next week. Did you find Luna Lunchbox in today's video? If you did, let us know in the comments down below where you found her and use the hashtag LunaLunchbox. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.